Makambo e bandeko. <laughs> Makambo are issues. The song is called Makambo Maneno eh, by Franco. It has been requested by my brother Yaseni Juma, mm, the former famous uh, journalist. Eh? Niaje, brother. <laughs> so let me do this translation of Makambo Maneno. Makem, Makambo are just issues or problems. Here it is the man who is claiming that uh, this lady has been, this wife has been lying to me. Eh, that this man is her relative. Kumbe eh, is my rival. So let's listen to it. Kombo Nanga James Angana. Mm? I'm not doing on my channel. <laughs> eh, but I own this one too. This one of Philip Isil. Yeah, so let me use it. At least if you have not subscribed, you can also subscribe to this one of Philip Isilia. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm an artist. <laughs> That's why you find songs like Stress. Eh? Check it on my channel. There is a Stress. Eh? Karumanga. <laughs> eh? We normally do with Philip Isilia. And today we are, I'm going to do to start at least doing the life and times of Franco. The life and times of Franco. This will, I think, just be part one. Makambo bandeko. Makambo e bandeko. Makambo, as I said, they are just problems or issues. Eh? Bandeko. Bandeko are my people. Makambo e bimi e bombaka. E bimi e bombaka. The issue that has been underground now has been revealed. Eh? Something that this lady has been hiding. Kobima is to come out. Ebimi. Kobima is to come out. Ebombaka. Something that has been, been hidden as a secret. Kobomba is to hide. So that thing now has been known. Toyebakate. Something that you never used to know. Koyeba is to know. And by the way, you can even subscribe also on this channel if you have not. That's why you always find sometimes my faces here on this Philip Isilia. Eh? And if you've not subscribed on my channel, you can also do so. Bakanga kie na leki na ye. Kokanga is to. And the, she, she caught uh she was caught with her younger one and the younger one found her uh, leki leki is your younger one yaya is somebody who is older than you uh, lingala is very interesting yaya yaya is a someone who is older and then leki leki is someone who is younger than so it's like bakanga ki kokanga sometimes even to close like Kokanga porte, that is to close the door. Eh, you know, we said in Lingala, we don't have word for for a door. In fact, we use the word porte, porte, which is French. Or sometimes monoko. Monoko is a mouth or a language. Alo bakana mobali yendeko. This wife normally lies to the husband that this man is who? Her brother. Alobaka. Koloba is to say or to talk. And then Alobaka na Mobali. She normally tells the husband. Mobali is her husband. Eh? Yendeko. And that one is the brother. Mikolo nyoso mi nasema. Mikolo nyoso mi nasema. Frango is trying to speak some Kiswahili here. But Mikolo nyoso all days. Me nasema, I always say. Kusema is to say. And you remember I said Lingala is just some words they were taken from Kikongo, Kiswahili, English, French, and such. And, that, and Portuguese, that's how Lingala came up. Bolingo. Bolingo. Bolingo is just love. This song was done in the 1960s. Uh, thank you, 
Yasin Juma for reminding me had uh, posted another sent another song to you called Makambo. Also there's a song called Makambo, you can check it. It was done nineteen seventy seven. That one even I had no idea. It is Brother Harris, eh, Harris Stafford, who sent me that link, and then I did the translation. Now, when Yasin Juma just sent me, asking me whether I've done this one, and after checking, I found I've not done Makambo Maneno, and those are just problems. This song, on vocals, you have Frango Rwambo Makiadi, eh, Kwami Munsi, Lola Shekain, and Prince Gilbert Yulu Mabiala. Yeah, bondoki, bondoki, and that love, that love where they use charms. Bondoki is witchcraft or sorcery, or or uh, witchcraft or sorcery. Esimba kate, it does not hold. Love of when people use charm does not do what does not hold. <laughs> Banda Aliaka Nandako. Yani my uh, my rival, my competitor, this man is saying, it's in my house. Aliaka Nandako. Here, for those who are grown ups, you know what it means. Yes, not about food. That's what he was trying to mean. Aliaka Nandako. <laughs> I think you understand what he means there. This he didn't want to be direct. Banda Aliaka Nandako. And this man instead of taking this uh, lady out, he just does what in that uh, man's house. Margarita Akosa Kangai. Margarita Akosa Kangai. Margarita lies to me. Likes so I think the lady is called Margaret. Makaleta. Makaleta Akosa Kangai. Kokosa is to lie or to deceive. And because I have uh, interest in Lingala, today we'll just do a bit of the introduction. I'll start the introduction of the book by the Colo Congo Colossus by Grand Aeons. Yeah. When you get time and money, you can buy it. Meet a friend, eh? David Ongolo. Thank you, <laughs> David Ongolo. Eh? You are the one who, who gave me this book. David Ongolo, eh? and you had referred the book by another friend called Stephen Osieo. I think Stephen Osieo either used to play f for Goro Maya, I don't know, I'm not very sure those years, but it must be in the States. Lokola Baloba Kakiswahili. It's like they are speaking Kiswahili. So, and I said, kindly subscribe on this YouTube or even mine. <laughs> eh, just uh, before we go ahead, don't mind, I'll just start afresh. So me, I have to appreciate those who have subs subscribed, those who keep on uh, following this channel. Eh, you are closely hitting the 10,000 subscribers. So the song number one is Nimeke Watajina Bwana. <laughs> and then there is Simu Nimteja then number 3 is Stress you check you'll find me there Stress then Liwaya Wech by Franco that's number 4 number 5 is Mandola number 6 is Kalumanga eh? and then there is uh, number 7 Nkosi Singeleli that, eh, that video those who don't know the national anthem of, of uh, South Africa you can check it it's called go see singeleli i think it is god bless something africa something like that eh? and then there is mbongo that's mane falanga mwasia bato by samangwana then there is number 10 sirena eh, you know you cannot forget you should not forget your your roots sirena siringa ya huinjira eh? you know one day yasin juma surprised me and then lawyers are very Think somehow, Kiswahili. <laughs> eh, all along, I never used to know you're from uh, Western <laughs> until he revealed me. Thank you. Eh? And then there is a there's a video there where President George Weah, the former footballer, is dancing. Kwakina eh? Zokila Nathaniel, Uko Liberia. Have you ever seen him dance? He's dancing. George Weah. 
uh, president of Liberia. And then there's a song called Malu Obisho. Uh, and then number 13 is Moseka. 14, Ngungi by Frangwan Table. Number 15 is Entertaining Mobutu. 16 is Testament ya Boule. Number 17, look for a song called Evituya Tuya. You'll find me there also. And then number 18, how we conduct church services in Ibunyore. Number 19 is Ibrahima by Samangwana. We have lyrics there. Some of these songs, they have lyrics in comment section. We have Novel Generation. Likamboya Moto is number 21. Bunyore All Stars. Have you seen Bunyore uh, uh, playing soccer? <laughs> yeah. In Bunyore, we had so many guys. There's a friend called uh, John Nyawanga. Nyawanga used to play for breweries. Normally tells me, why can't you uh, ask these guys? We are the one who started Kenya breweries. Eh? John Nyawanga, the other Okwemba. Eh? And those guys who used to start the FC Leopards, like the late Ezekiel Ngana, eh? among others. And then there is, uh, in, by, by the way, other Okwemba I've done is still alive, is in Rwanda. Even John Nyawanga, John Nyawanga is here in Nairobi. He always tells me when he gets time, I can bring him here. He talks about how they used to play football. Eh? But other Okwemba you can get. I've done the interview about him, two of them, other Okwemba. And then there is uh, Malaika Nakupenda. Come to the Lord. That's a choir. Traditional African folk song. Eh? Then there is circumcision, the western part of Kenya. Eh, Entertainment that's in web bunyore during weddings in bunyore. Then the song number 29, Pesa Position. Then number 30 is the song Fuazua V O I S I N. Madilu system complaining about neighbors. Now that I've just told you the top 30 songs, let me start this song again. So, Macambo, just problems. Ebimi e bomba naka. It has now come out. Something that has been, been hidden, secretive, now it has come out. Na eba kate, I've never known. Bakanga kie na leki na ye. Yani the, she was caught. Alobaka na mobali yende ko. She normally tells the husband that is a who, that is a brother. All days I normally say mikolo nyoso mi na sema. Love, love, love. Bolingo lo lango la moru. Eh, bolingo ya ya bondoki esimba nak. Any when you are using charms, it it kinds of holds. Cause simba is to hold. Banda aliaka nandako. Eh, my rival is doing what? Eh, it's from my house. <laughs> Makereta akosa kangai. Eh? So just say saying makareta akosa kangai. Kokosa is to lie to. Lokola balobaka kiswahili. It is like they are using kiswahili. Eh? And they just, they just forgotten. There is a good kiswahili, a video about the Congolese kiswahili. Go and look for it. Kiswahili was born in Zanzibar. Grew up in Tanzania. But it felt sick here, 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 here. Munajueko. Hmm? <laughs> eh? So, Kiswahili was just born innocently in Zanzibar. Eh? And then uh, grew up eh? in, in Tanzania. And then when it started crossing the border, eh? it found people like us. Then this is Nasel. Nipayeko tu, nipayeko tu pesa mwana. Na pesa bango nzela babima. I'm giving them a way to go or to live. 
na pesa kwa pesa is to give nzela is the way in kiswahili ni njia bapima babima so that they go out eh, ni makubalia waende bango is them Mobomano. Koboma is just like somebody finishing. So as I said, this book starts like by Graham starts by first thanks must go to the musicians of OK Jazz. In particular, Mose Se Fan Fan, who has spent much time over a period of years in helping this project come to fruition. You remember Mose Fan Fan came here. He died when he came to record here in Zimmerman. Then he went, was buried back in UK. Some of these musicians, even Zion Zayadio, was buried in the Holy City. So there's a friend who told me most of these musicians, they are in the, those governments, whatever, payroll. So they normally perform free over the weekends, place like Uru Park. Yeah? So I hope one day when we develop, we also do the same so that our musicians don't just suffer like that. I'm going to deal with this rival. Kokufa is just to die. Mbanda is a rival or a competitor. Nayeba kate bandeko. I don't know why. Koyeba is no, is to know. So, great help. Uh, great help in, in, in encouragement and hospitality have also been provided by Sam Mangwana, Simaro Lutumba Masia, Gege Magaya, and the late. Kasongo wa Kasongo. Eh? Even though here Gege Magaya is already late, uh, there is also Simarolo Tumba is late. But some Mangwana nowadays is back to Angola. <laughs> eh? So this uh, gentleman is saying, I would also like to thank the following for their observations and general assistance. Jerry. Jerry Maleka uh, Michelino Mavatiku Ntesa Dalieste Malashe de Lugendo Papa Noel Tom's Toroma Sika This Tom's Toroma Sika always likes commenting on my video translations I don't know, he went back either I think he's in France uh, but in Tessa is already late. Michelino Mavatiku is in France. Uh, he has, a, I think, uh, something to do with a music school. The late Bongolaf and two members of Franco's business staff, that is Malambo Makizola Ma and Nzala, Nzala Manze. Mandalala e pai nangai. Mandalala are those re, those things like reeds. The one that uh, we call them makuti, mandalala. Eh? But I think here, it, there are those like those stems, those not stems, those leaves of the banana. It's like he used a term to mean that these people, they were sleeping on the mandalala. Mandalala, there's a song called Zete Ambila. Where they talk about the benefits of the palm tree. And I've just got forgotten that band by. There's another band that was by. I think Mandalala, Mandalala. There's a song called Mandalala. Mandalala are Makuti. So, where they are talking about the benefits of the palm tree. The palm tree gives us oil, that is Mafuta, gives us Masanga, Ebimisa. They normally call it Ebimisa. Eh? Kobi Misa is to bring out, uh, and that's a byproduct. Roofs, that is for roofs. The leaves, those are makuti for roofing. Mafuta, that is oil, cooking oil, and masanga. And I've forgotten the fourth one. Is 
Semeki, Semeki is just an in-law. Nzoka mobomi monene. Kumbe that person is mobomi is someone who can kill you. Mobomi monene. Yani muwaji. Koboma is to kill. So mobomi is a person who can murder you. So and then we have uh, the Kinshasa perspective was further def defined by meetings by meetings that is Varkis Kamangwana Mateta and Rubens Kunsita Atafuka Mbundi Voice du Zair Nyokalongo Mvula of Langalanga Bob Luzolo Mbemba uh, Gili Benami Biolo Binganzenza, Daniel Ngominzilu, and Jean Jean opened many doors. Uh, you know, writing a book is not easy. <laughs> and this book has given me a lot of knowledge. I like reading it. Uh, so I said, even me, I try to write a book, but it's not easy. And thank you. How are you? Asa, Asa Nyakundi, you know it's a self. <laughs> eh? You said I deserve Uji. I'm still waiting. Eh? My number is 0722642518. And you, John, Mbu, John Mundi, today I'm just putting on a jacket. You said if I have that tie and I don't need to ask for money. You told me Nilingala like that. So no more ties. Ha mungu, that is God. Inilingala mungu is in Zambe. Maneno ya kushangara. Maneno ya kushangara. This is the Kiswahili was talking about. That is the voice of Yuluma Biala saying, Hii ni maneno ya kushangara. Maneno, eh, kushanga. That's why I told you Kiswahili, you check for that Kiswahili was born in Zanzibar. And you like Kiswahili, you will really enjoy it. Utaona. Utaona, you will see. And also when you see, you listen the song Frame Mwa when how Frango speaks that Kiswahili there, Frame Mwa. And I think Trail Fashe. Maisha ita watot watatusaidia ata zamani. That's how the children will help us. <laughs> eh? And I always say in the DRC because it's so huge. I think the DS Zaire must be the third, yeah, the third biggest country in Africa. Yeah, because the biggest is Algeria. I think followed by Sudan and then the DRC. So they have five languages because it's so big. So we find we have Kilingala. Lingala, Kiswahili, Kiluba, Kikongo, and French. Ebimi, eh? Ebomba, <coughs> Naka. Something that has been being hidden, now it has come out. Eh? <coughs> Kangaki na leki na ye. Yani, she was caught with her younger brother. That's what they mean. As she used to claim that that is the brother. So she was caught with that young brother of hers. Alobaka na mobali yendeko. She normally tells the husband that is the brother. So, uh, in Kinshasa, I also met Vincent, Vincent who, whose knowledge and assistance were greatly appreciated. Eh? Viki, Viki insights into the prehistory and Viki and alias of OK just provided by 
uh, by Henry Boane, Bill Alexandra, and Manu Dibango. <coughs> a encouragement contacts, information and inspiration came from Emmanuel Maradas, Nono Atalaku, Carlos and Jean Bella, Flavian Kasavubu, Barbara Bairaniani, Nzimba, Miki Jo Lusala, Aimedo Aziza, Charles Esmon, Safro, Elima, John Collins, Martin Sinok, and Vavasi, eh, Mopansi Sango. Mopansi Sango, Kopanza Sango is just to, to spread news. Kopanza is to spread, Sango is the news. <laughs> so someone is called like that. And then there is uh, Johannes Fabian, Stephen Wada, Jumbo Van Renen, Rick Glanville, Donny Bay, Robert Abanas, Dominic Ian, Lois, Dave, Daniel, and all at stands. Uh -huh. Mikolo nyoso mi nasema. Mi nasema. All the days I normally say, Skuzote mi mi nasema. Bolingo ni mapensi watu wangu. So, vital documentary and recorded material was supplied by Fleming Harev, Chris Stapleton, Gary Stewart, and Noblet. While Ronnie Graham provided the initial impetus to publication, encouragement was given by Paul Webster, former editor of The Guardian, Maxwell Nguaboso, acting editor of Africa, Max Jarrett of BBC World Service, Ian Anderson of Roots, Joe Shiner of GLR, and Lucy Duran of SOAS. The document, the, and then Dr. Kazadi Wamukuna were highly valued. The technical assistance of Roger Barnett was crucial. Thanks also to Marika Skip for the index and Robin Debe for his process camera work. Without the stalwart support of of them, nothing would have been possible. Special thanks to Rajan Hood, music officer of the Arts Council of England, whose benevolent helped bring this book to process. <laughs> eh? Writing a book is not easy. Even me, when I get time, I'll write one. Mm? Uh, so just repeating and then this work is obviously directed to those with an interest in music or Africa or both uh, most readers will presumably have an oral image of OK Jazz to accompany them through the history of Franco which is as much about Africa as about music to know something of Franco is to know something about that great continent. He was more than a symbol of Africa. In the opinions of his peers, he was Africa personified. Yeah. I'm just giving them the way to the, the freedom to go. I'm allowing them to go, to disappear. Mobomano here, it just means this is like kuwana in Kiswahili. Mobomano. Koboma is to kill. Mobomano. This is like murder, yeah. That means I'll fight this rival of mine, even if it means some all of us dying. So this not, does not pretend to be the inside story of Rango, but is rather an outsider's attempt to reach an understanding of an undoubtedly important man through documenting his career and providing an English language commentary of some of his works. He deserved more than the standard pop music biography and 
have tried to do him the justice of setting his story in the context of his society and his time. Frango was a complex personality and only the protruding peaks of his persona were visible. I was fortunate enough and honored to have met the man on several occasions and have and to have collaborated on the release of some of his old records which maintained a real if slender working relationship. Banda Alalaki Ebai Nangai. My rival sleeps at my place. Kolala is to sleep. Epa is a place. Nangai at my place. Zoka, I need just say Adi Ati Semeki. I normally think is my in law. Zoka Monyati Monene. Kum this person is a big rival. Akufa, Akufa, Banda. Akufa. Kokufa is to die. Eh? Yoka dikambo banda alobaka na muasi. Here what my rivals normally tells my wife. Eh? Yoka is listening. Likambo an issue. Mbanda alobaka na muasi. Muasi is a woman. Here. So the lady normally tells, the man normally tells the lady that your husband will die or he has died. Banda mbanda na kobotolo I do bad Libala na koboma This killing marriage Libala is marriage Koboma is to kill Fami Fami is just family Fami na kosalisa I normally help his family I normally help. Boya ye ati reject him, reject him. Boya ye. Ati nakobala yo, I'll marry you. So this man tells that woman, leave that man husband alone, I'll marry you. Watire na kosomba. I live and buy for you a vehicle. Watire is a vehicle. Kosomba is to buy. Eh? So just saying, hear what this man is telling my wife. Eh? Leave that man alone. Eh? I'll marry you. I'll buy for you a vehicle. Watire is French for a vehicle. So, following the publication in 1986 of a work in progress titled Luambo Frango and 30 years of 4K Jazz, Frango agreed to cooperate on a full-scale biography. This depended on snatching brief conversations in various European capitals and eventually visiting him in Kinshasa. He was already ailing and the promised access to his archives was never released. However, through conduct with the Grand Maitre, that is Franco, as he liked to be addressed, a door was opened on the world of OK Jazz. Lopango, Lopango is just a homestead. Okay. So the man tell, told the wife, the, that lady she will also, he will also buy her a Lopango, a house. Zaire ya bayenge, any Zaire of the new generation, bayanke. Eh? That's why Franco sang songs like Zaire mboka ya makambo. I've done the translation. Eh? Zaire mboka ya makambo. Even the song now, Le Rumas. So through tracing back 
Frango's works to their source, I had entered that fantastic yet distantly familiar state of mind that is called Zaire, but which used to be known as Congo. The renowned Africanist, historian, and author Basil Davidson has said in relation to the nation state in Africa that Zaire is not so much a mystery as a myth. Congo, however, has a clear identity as the name of the of a people, an ancient kingdom, and a region state. Voyage Nanzela ya Poto. So this man told the lady he will take her even abroad. Voyage. Voyage is just a safari or a trip. Nanzela. Yeah, Porto. Porto is abroad or Europe. So, <clears throat> to distinguish it from its neighbor, Congo Brazzaville, Zaire was once known as Congo Kinshasa. It is a land as fantastic to the European imagination as the concise Oxford Dictionary's definition of that word, extravagantly fanciful, capricious, eccentric, grotesque, and quaint in design, excellent, extraordinary. The country, which really is the heart of Africa, has suffered, has suffered for years from the doomful title of Joseph Conrad's story, Heart of Darkness, that gave the Congo such a, a, fearful, a fearful image in the minds of civilized white people. To develop Conrad's metaphor, the expressions of European faces and culture are delineated by shadows, the hidden darker corners which give their lives and the title of Conrad's book meaning. In the mirror, the face of Franco and his culture were expressed in highlights, flashes of expressions that are less the symptom of frivolity than a means of continually balancing the effects of sadness, repression, or resignation with an insatiable thirst for and acceptance of life. So like Frank like Africa, Frango was comfortably large, expansive, generous, contradictory, turbulent, mysterious, prolific, and unpredictably spontaneous. Africa is a fascinating, ever changing, yet never changing land. Natural and money made disasters apart, the most commonly perceived positive image among Westerners it is of spectacular landscape and exotic wildlife. But the elegance, the warmth, the creativity and the diversity of the people and their precarious yet confident hold on life are even more stimulating. Zaire is the third largest and was once the most flamboyant country in Africa with a population of 30 million and a capital that has the biggest population of any French-speaking city outside France. It is home to a variety of people speaking some 250 languages. There is a rich, vibrant cultural life which connects the modern urban world with a pre-colonial village society that has remained virtually intact since humans domesticated themselves.
Mimi nasema, me I'm saying. Mimi nasema Kiswahili. I'm saying in Kiswahili. Wewe bibi yangu mimi nakupenda sana. Eh, that is the voice of Yuluma Biala. Eh, wewe bibi yangu mimi nakupenda sana. Nitakutuma ulaya mama. I will take you abroad. So that is the rival say. Nita kununulia vuatire. I'll buy for you a vehicle. Nita kupa zaire yote mama. I'll give you the whole of zaire. Nita kununulia pakiti ya meko. I don't know what that means. But those who know will tell us. Pakiti ya meko. <laughs> those who are following and they know what Yuluma Biala meant, they'll tell us. Itakununulia pakiti ya meko. You know, sometimes, uh, like I said, there's a gentleman who volunteered and did the translation of, on the song Doles by uh, Kofi Olomide. If you go, you go in the comment section, you'll find a gentleman has done the lyrics in what Franco um, Kofi Olomide was singing and then he has that translation in in English he's from Zaire I think he told me he's from he understands the language I'll send you, I'll take you abroad. So Franco was one of the best best known and most loved figures in post-war post African culture. A milieu which is lively, imaginative and adaptable, but which is being increasingly marginalized by the new world order and which is often dismissed by Western commentators as tribal in comparison with the coordinates great historic treasures. Part of his, this attitude is undoubtedly because museum pieces can be catalogued and incorporated into a system of criticism which reflects the preoccupations of western pundits. By comparison, contemporary Africa has often been ignored, leaving artists pose too many problems while performing artists and musicians are often overlooked as being unreliable witnesses even the greatest composers of popular music rarely appear in studies of African oral literature. <laughs> yeah, there's a friend, Zakamoru, yeah, you told me, yeah, there's a point here, even the greatest composers of popular African a music rarely appear in studies of African oral literature or orature, long recognized as being the repository of cultural history throughout the black diaspora. Mm -hmm. And my brother, White Webuye, thank you, I've not forgotten. <laughs> Asante. <laughs> eh, I appreciate so much. My number is 0722642518. Yeah. So the, this the the rival was saying, Akufa, Akufa Bandeko. This man is dying, he's going to die. Okay. Loba lo yokali dikambo banda aloba kana mwasi. This is what my rival was telling my wife. Bana na kobokolo. I'll take care of the children. Even, even if that money dies. Bana na kobokolo. Kobokolo is take care of. Bana just the children. So the rival was telling the wife, that man is dying. We'll even die. I'll kill him. Because and I, I just take care of the children. Mm. 
Eli bana nakoboma. I'll end your marriage with that man. Nakoboma. I'll finish it. Yoka likambo banda alobaka na mwasi. This is what that man was telling the wife. Famiyo na kosalisa. I'll help your family. <laughs> Even if that man dies. So, uh, even the greatest composers of popular music rarely appear in studies of African oral literature or orator. Long recognized as being the repository of cultural history throughout the black diaspora. In researching this project, I was fortunate to be able to talk directly to people who were there at the time primary sources of a kind whose recollections have sometimes been questioned by more literary researchers as being subjective and self-interested but the same criticism could be applied to almost any sources and among the written material that is available, there are many inconsistencies of fact as well as opinion. I recognize the ease with which errors can be introduced or overlooked at every stage of the writing process and accept that I will have unwittingly perpetrated some of my own. Boyaye nakobala yo, leave that man alone. Boyaye, leave him. Eh? There's a song by uh, Billy Bells called Boyaye. Boyaye. Eh? There is fortunately a handful of Congo Zairean writers and academics listed in the bibliography who have published serious research and analysis of their regions major form of cultural expression. The pub publications of Kaza Bembo, Lono, Zonga Onyumbe, and Bamba Toko have been extremely useful in establishing social and musical context. One or two interviews by Western writers have been referred to, but the published literature in English is slim. Starting from Frango himself, the sources consulted are almost all Zairean or Congolese musicians who talked freely on the record, and even more so when they knew their words would not be attributed. Observers and collaborators responded openly, and throughout my personal communications, there was a notable reluctance to embellish Franco's reputation or draw conclusions from hearsay evidence however the man the man was a focus for the widespread rumor and gossip of radio Troatua, and whatever his constituents believed did have a bearing on how he was perceived i've done the song translation of the song radio Troatua by franco franco was not a saint and there are several negative aspects to his character which go to make up the com composite being his friends believed to him to be, the man with all the characteristics of the human race, as one colleague labeled him. The natural reluctance to speak badly of the dead is often waived. In Frango's case, in favor of telling it like it was really was, Frango did not like secrets, and he would be the last to thank anyone for papering over the cracks in his character or smoothing the rough edges of his experience. As he himself put it, if I see someone with the torn trousers, I will say they are wearing torn trousers. Vatire na kosomba, I'll buy for you a vehicle. Eh? Now that Frango is no longer with us, he might be taken more seriously by Western observers. His contribution was at least recognized in 1991 by the authoritative, authoritative directory. 
makers of modern Africa. He was one of only two musicians among 680 deceased public figures so honored by the Nigerian publishers of the book. In the West, the work of pop musicians has been analyzed and discussed with all the fervor of an investigative science. Countless this, theses have been presented on the pop icons of the 60s and 70s, yet the role of someone as seemingly important to the Western world as, for example, Bob Dylan, for all his poetry, mysticism, prolixity, and enigmatic posturing had nowhere near the compound effect on his own people. Franco, almost alone amongst African musicians, had a much more widespread and understanding audience. The rhythms, tunes, lyrics, and hidden agenda, the meaning of his songs, was in effect known to virtually all his ordinary, to, to his, virtually all his primary audience. And because his music was so familiar and his personality so strong, he could not be assimilated into anybody's system. Eh, lo pango, lo pango na mabel, na mabele, e tondi. Just saying that he'll buy for her a house and a big land. Mabele is just the land. Eh, Franco was a such a prolific composer that he and his OK Jazz averaged nearly two new songs a week for 30 years. Most songs did their job, and that is one of the factors which distinguishes African from Western music. It has a job to do. Franco created an international career and also a secondary audience that could have kept him in comfortable stardom outside his country. Among people who didn't even understand the language he sang in, the Lingala. That in itself was a great achievement for a humble market mummy son. But Franco's real value came from being taken seriously. That respect was earned at home, where sometimes he was taken more seriously than the country itself. If, as Davidson maintains, Zaire should be considered to have been a myth, so perhaps should it its most prominent citizen. But the Franco myth was created around a very real person. So thank you and the next will be about meeting with a remarkable man. I think that is chapter one. Uh, <laughs> so meetings with a remarkable man. So we will pick from there. Thank you so much. So if you have maybe a request you want to make, you can just send on my number 0722642518. Yeah. Do you remember I said I need some home studio? If you can support, no problem. I'll appreciate. <laughs> David Ongolo, thank you. This is the book. Eh? Yeah. The Congo Colossus. Thank you.